Hey guys, Demon here. Uh, wanted to do a little video. Haven't done one for a while. Just about some projects I'm working on. Um, first off, I wanted to show this. It's a little neck knife that I made out of some 1084. A little Kydex sheath. Goes around the neck. I, uh, I wore it for a couple of days and it actually feels pretty nice. Uh, paracord wrap and lanyard, but uh, it's got a pretty good edge on it. Anyways, I was, that one's for sale. I want 50 for that one, just because I put too much time into it. But there's that one. Then I wanted to show you. I got some. Uh, I said I wanted to do. I wanted to do some videos on junk steel. I don't know if I posted that video yet, but um, I got some of this. It's it's uh, off a of hay rake from uh, you know you, it's a long tine. I actually cut a bunch off of this one, but it's got a long tine and it hooks down and drags and rakes up the hay out of the fields for the farmers. But uh, I found out that this is. Uh, high carbon, it hardens really good. They told me 1095, but you know how that goes, it could be whatever. Anyways, so I hammered one out just to see what it was like, hardened it up. Um, I actually went way further than I planned on doing with it, but this is what I got out of that hay rake. Um, it's not finished yet, I need to. Still do something else with the handle. I don't like that handle, but um, it hardened up real nice. It holds an edge really good. Uh, I'm probably gonna take this copper off of here and sharpen it the rest of the way. But uh, that's one that I just I hammered out. I wasn't actually gonna start. I wasn't actually gonna hammer forge anything. I was going to uh, just use my forge that I built to heat treat. Well, I, of course, I got the bug and started to hammer and stuff and it felt nice so I just kept going but this is another one that's not anything in particular I just got kind of a taper on it and was messing around with it I think I'm gonna make another one like this but a little longer and a better handle on it but um so that'll be in the works then I got this one this is out of a lawnmower blade I cut out uh, I tested the blade, I hardened it, and tempered it, uh, before I even, you know, decided to make any knives out of it or anything, but it's going to be kind of a cool little stubby knife. We'll see what happens with it. Not all lawnmower blades can be hardened like that. Some of them have edges just where the sharpening part is to harden. I lucked out and the whole blade is, you can harden it. Um, then I I've never made a kukri before, so I wanted to try one. I got a bunch of leaf springs laying around from old projects, truck projects and stuff. This is a broken one. The eye was broken off. Well, you can see, you know, it was about this far from the end, so from this hole, so it was broke off about right there. But I started hammering it out, putting the taper on it. Uh, we'll see what happens. I annealed all this stuff first, of course, but we'll see. Hopefully it'll be kind of a cool kooky. I can I'm thinking probably that long. I don't know. We'll see what happens when it's done. I'm going to thin it out some more and widen this blade out. But This is just the smallest leaf spring that I had. The thinnest one. The other ones are really thick, so there's that. And then going along with my junk steel forging videos I'm gonna do I want to I found this disc it's off of own piece of farm equipment and I got some stuff trace out there I'll stick it like a karambit something like that I got the another little neck knife looking deal here but these uh, these discs they can be hardened and treated pretty good so Hopefully that'll be in the works. We'll see. 
Um, oh, and then this old file here, it looks like somebody welded on it. I don't know what for, but the file shot. Which kind of sucks because it was a good file. Looks like, I mean, it has still still got some bite to it, so. But there's all these weld marks here, and it's all messed up, so. I think I'm going to hammer that into, like, a mini Bowie knife, something like that. But, we'll see what happens. Hopefully, uh, hopefully I can actually get off my ass and do some stuff and make some videos along with them. Instead of just doing it and then never taking pictures or anything. That's my habit is I never even take any pictures or anything, so. But, anyways, that's what I got in the works right now. If anybody's interested in this little mecker, shoot me a message. You know, I, I said 50 on it, but we'll see what happens. You know, I'd like to get some more belts for the belt sander. So, shoot me a message if you're interested or want to make an offer on it, whatever. Thanks, guys. Have a good day.